Gonzalez, and welcome to Shoot Shimi! Seriously swole. This is a weird little side-scrolling roguelike about a muscle-bound fish. It's as weird as it sounds. I got this through PlayStation Plus, and honestly, it's probably one of the weirdest things I've ever played in my life. I'll show you why. Now you've got normal, guppy mode, and a training mode. Let's go normal. You can get harder. Boss rush mode, obviously. And of course you can go back. But let's just do normal mode and I'll show you what it's like to start with. And weirdly enough, it has four player co-op. I've never known a four player co-op rogues-esque side scroller before. Now on the PS Vita you can change the colour of your fish, but since I'm player one I'm always going to be the goldfish. So let's dive in and have a look, shall we? Oh, my phrase dive in is actually appropriate for once, considering I'm playing as a fish. Right, we swim away. Controls, very very simple. Analog stick to move around, X to fire. And we are killing laser sharks and confetti squids. Don't ask. The levels are very short, but this is what you want. These level, these bits in between, allow you to shop and pick up new stuff. For example, I picked up the ability to fire cannonballs for no apparent reason. But the cannonballs do a lot of damage to the little things, but they take a lot to kill the sharks. And it is all score based. And some, as you can see, only last for one round. Others, like this one, last forever, and I'm huge. I'm fire I'm huge and I'm firing cannonballs. As soon as you take as soon as you take damage, you lose a life, you die in one hit. But you also lose your power up, which is handy, because I lost the stupid thingy. Now I'm shooting slow moving bullets, which means I'm firing slow moving cannonballs. That's not a good combination, really. I've just got to avoid the lasers that the sharks fire for some reason. Again, nothing makes sense in this game, it's brilliant. This is what we want. Oh, I don't know whether I want that one or that one. Let's go with this one. The musical note. I now shoot laser beams. And our enemy is the deadly, deadly submarine. One of nature's cruelest creations. It ruins the habitats of innocent fish. But the best thing is, the boss fight don't necessarily end the way you think. Like, that guy just pissed off. I hate that pickup, and I don't know why I chose it. Ah, this one's a good one. This one summons the fishlets. The fishlets are amazing, because they fire too, and oh god, that's a cat in a fishbowl. Enemy variety in this is pretty weird. Ooh, chocolate. Yes, please. I now fire rapid fire laser beams. Die, bird. And for some reason now we're a fish in the sky. Don't ask. Unfortunately, that rapid fire only lasts for one round. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't want that again. Let's go with the hot dog. We haven't had the hot dog yet. Now the hot dog means I'm a fat bastard who is sinking all the time. So you're going to constantly be moving back up. And this isn't as bad as you think, because sometimes it can be an advantage, because it'll auto it'll make like an auto dodge for you. Right, let's see what happens if I eat some chicken. Party time! Yeah, for some reason, chicken summons a party. I don't know, don't ask. I don't know who came up with this. But it's amazingly stupid and I love it. Ooh. Let's have the hammer. Oh dear, my, my, my movement is inverted. Right, to go up, I'm gonna go down. Ah! There ain't no worky like this. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. Ooh, thank god that only lasts one round. Ooh. What does this do? With way more enemies! Way more enemies to be slain by my deadly, deadly laser beams. Whoa! Bugger! And yeah, that's how it ends. But, like I says, it's a roguelite, so you kind of... 
You're kind of at the mercy of whatever's in the shot between rounds because there are weird, weird pickups in this. I desperately want to show you one of them, and here it is. Ready? This is a non-combat round in a bouncy castle. Instead of shooting, you do a flip. And nothing can hurt you. I don't know who came up with the idea of putting a non-combat round in, but it's amazing. What does a rainbow do? And your weapon can form charge shots. Okay. But at the moment, since I've only got the basic gun, this is all I can do. I want a better weapon. Not that one. What does the lucky cat do? It's upside down! No! It's messing with my brain. However, strangely enough, your movement isn't inverted in this. Just the world. Strange, I know. What happens if we put some tunes on? I'm tiny! I'm a tiny, tiny fish! I'm a small fish in a big pond. That's not the way around it should be. It's not over yet, evildoer. Oh, this one's a good one. And you have three guns, apropos of nothing. Unfortunately, my shots are still slow as shit. There are weird, weird weapons in this. Ooh, this one's good. More damage. I don't have my three guns anymore, though, which is a pain. I love where everything just explodes into confetti. It's very, very trippy. Hmm. Shroom's time. Now I have a shotgun. Unfortunately, as with all shotguns, this one means you have to be a lot more mobile. Because range, range is not good on a shotgun. Ooh, do I go for laser beams or non-combat? I think you all know, we're going for laser beams. Laser beams! Nice! I want to show you some of the other bosses as well, so if I suck completely at this and don't get through that many rounds, I will do the boss rush mode. And I deal more damage now, so sweet. That was easy work. Moving on. Oh, do I want the pot of gold? The boomerang or the shield? You all know I'm going for the leprechaun's gold. And now we're floating upwards. We're a helium fish. Helium fish. Helium fish feels no one. Helium fish feels no one. Except for people who mock him for his squeaky voice. Right, we'll try once more. We'll try once more. I am determined to do this. And this is one of those games where you beat it. But you have to beat it again to get the proper ending. I've only managed to do all the way to the first ending. Ooh. Yep. We'll have this one, thank you. I'll be a big fish in a small pond. That's the way around it should be. Unfortunately, huge also means slow. Oh, thank god that's gone away. Right, the Game Boy. And look at this. I'm wearing a hat! Yes, you can collect hats in this game. I should really say this in case I ever did start this week of hats. Some of the hats actually have power-ups which you use by pressing square. Let's see what the guitar does for a change. And your shot speed is decreased. That's not good. In these situations, you want to try and dodge as much as possible rather than kill everything. But I'm a scorehound. I like killing. Three guns! Oh, not the submarine again. When will these humans learn to stop invading my waters? And I get an extra bonus for beating it without having it run off. Three guns to the rescue every time. Right, we've done the party mode. We've done the hot dog, I think. Let's have a look at the boomerang. The boomerang puts us in a thunderstorm, which means visibility is decreased. 
Not fun! Not fun at all. Thank god this only lasts one round as well. So many of these are detrimental. Let's show off the diamond. No items, only butts. You see why I've been playing through so much of this? I want to show you some of the random shit in this. Like, look at this! And it farts at the end. You know, just in case you hadn't got it yet. Right, we've done the guitar, we've done the chocolate, let's do this one. The control pad. I now have access to every weapon! Les Beams! Oh, that's cannibals. Big balls. That's only a one round thing. Let's have a party. What is going on indeed? I love the silly little remarks it makes at the start of every wave. Oh dear, I'm down to my last life. That's not good. I want to show off the second boss. Here we go. Right, what can I have? We haven't done pills. And I move faster. Oh good, that's, that's good because this one's a very mobile boss. As you can see, it's a dragon for no reason. And he's run away. Coward. Basketballs. And you have a cat to capitalize. Look at that, I've got a cat on my head. Prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Oh, I got an extra life. Nice. Mixtape. And you're out for a night in the town. I've got a new hat. City goggles. I missed my cat launcher. That cat launcher was amazing. I've never seen that one before. There's so much stuff in this because it's all randomly generated. That like you missed stuff. Uh, let's go for the... Let's go for candy. Candy's good. Oh no, I'm slow. I hope that means in terms of movement and not in terms of my mental capacity. Because that's just insulting. I mean, I know I'm stupid, but we deal with it. Oh, do I want the fishlets? Yeah, I do. I'll show off the skull when I get to it again. Because I haven't got a very good gun at the moment, so I want the fishlets to help. Pop, pop, pop. Yes, I've still got all my fishlets. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the controller again. Every weapon will be handy against that. Every every weapon will be handy against this boss. There we go. Boss down. No! You cost me my life, you asshole! Right, show you the skull. Get ready to overstay your welcome. I've got a feeling I already have. I don't even know what that means. I'm sure there's a wiki somewhere to explain all this stuff, but, you know. Right, we'll quit that for now. Because I want to show you off all the bosses, so let's do the boss rush. Oh, I can change fish now. Orange fish, blue fish. Look at this. These are your stats. Orange fish, tasty music, toilet paper usage, charm and favourite colour. Blue fish, literacy, fashion sense, dribbling and air guitar. Arithmetic, artistic skill, days remaining, and calligraphy for the red fish. Greenfish has words per minute, dancing, TV trivia, and punctuality. Who comes up with these? Because you're a genius. And the purple fish. Whoa, all your energy is eternal. You put the art in party time. Shoe size, spelling, clay figures, and odour. You know what? Let's go with the fish who has the most days remaining. The red fish. I don't even know what this means. Right, Mr. Submarine. You must die. For the glory of our cause. Our fishy, fishy cause. Bugger. Fortunately, the shop still returns. And I can show you the chest piece. Now the water's frictionless. Which means you float around like anything. Doesn't matter, boss defeated. Fishlets! Again, this is the mobile boss. The very mobile boss. 
Come on, fish, let's give me a hand here. Die, die, die in the face. There we go. Right. Next item. I haven't shown you the shield. And you're invisible. Like I said, not all these items are for your own benefits. A lot of them are much to your detriment. And you get one run at the boss mode, but we're going to try it again. Because I accidentally picked up the power that makes me bloody invisible. I don't know if I have to keep dodging these stupid missiles. If I had a more powerful weapon, I could probably destroy them, but I don't. Uh, let's do hot dog mode. You don't have to choose anything. But it's funny if you do. There we go. Doesn't matter if I'm sinking. That's done for. Ooh. Yes. Gamepad mode. Oh, bugger. That one always gets me because it's so bloody mobile. Die, die, die! Right, we're going to need the fishlets for this one. I want to get past this boss and show you what's after. Alright, thank you, fishlets. Give me a better weapon, asshole. I know it's all random, but give me a better weapon at least. Right, we'll have to play this upside down. We'll have to. You watch, I'll fucking beat it now. Oh, it ran away. Right. Gears of War time. With increased damage and shot delay. So at least I've got increased damage and we beat the dragon. Dragon defeated. Next boss. Naturally with increased damage. Because why not? This is the big evil of the game. The big evil. That's basically the final boss of the first run. And I can confirm that the second round are amazing. So I'm going to leave it here for you all. But first, I'm going to show you the extras this game comes with. You can look at your statistics. View the credits, obviously. But this is the best thing about it. The Chapopedia. This shows you every hat you've ever unlocked, ever. And as you can see, there are a vast number of hats. That was the best one, the cat launcher. It's rumored that this cute kitty loves robots even more than it loves fish. Crazy, huh? And then, of course, you've got your awardments. And these are silly little things like survive a wave on Heartless without taking damage. Uh, which other one? Wear three hats in a single game. Not all at once. Are you mad? <laughs> Love it. Try and find another one's funny. Confetti everywhere. Unlock the chill party in extra menu. Reckless shopper. Clear 10 shop rounds within 2 seconds. And this is what it means by unlock chill party. You can just shuffle through the backgrounds, the music, and then you can just go back. It's just a silly little thing. A lovely little feature they've added, and I love it to pieces. As you can see, I haven't cleared the game because I haven't got past the second waves yet. I haven't got all the awards, and I haven't got all hats. But I have scored over 9,000, and that's all that matters. So, thank you all for watching, and until we speak again, I've been Salis. This has been a bizarre trip, and I will see you next time.